two weeks before the day we Jews in Hungary in our ghetto we didn't know about Auschwitz. Washington knew, the Vatican knew, Switzerland knew, everyone who should have known knew, and they didn't warn us. The world was silent. If anyone had told us in 1945 that there are certain battles we'll have to fight again, we wouldn't have believed it. I was convinced that hatred among nations and among people perished in Auschwitz. It didn't. The victims died, but the haters are still here. New ones. I just came from a meeting of the Israeli cabinet. We discussed the proposed framework for a deal with Iran. This deal would pose a grave danger to the region and to the world and would threaten the very survival of the state of Israel. Now, I know that some in the international community think I'm exaggerating this threat. Have these people learned nothing from history? The last century has taught us that when a radical regime with global ambitions gets awesome power, sooner or later, its appetite for aggression knows no bounds. The world may have forgotten this lesson. The Jewish people have not. Iran's fanaticism is not bluster. It's real. این رژیم علاجش جز از بین رفتن و نابود شدن نیست. خب اسرائیل یک قده سرطانی است. خب قده سرطانی رو چیکار میکنن؟ غیر از قطع قده چه علاجی میتوان برای او کرد؟ They want to wipe us away. If they have the weapons to wipe us away, they'll try. They must prevent another catastrophe. I wish I could promise you, Eli, that the lessons of history have been learned. I can only urge the leaders of the world not to repeat the mistakes of the past. Indifference is not an option. Indifference is never an option.